You're watching WMAR 2 News. For this digital news update, I'm Kelly Swoop. A triple shooting has left three young men in the hospital today. They were shot around 1115 last night on Pressbury Street in the Coppin Heights neighborhood. The victims, two 22 year olds and one 20 year old, were all taken to the hospital. They are expected to recover. That was the end to a violent Memorial Day weekend in Baltimore. On Saturday, 17 year old Neil Mack, along with a 17 year old girl, were shot. Mack died in surgery. The girl is in serious condition. From Friday to Monday, five people were murdered and eight more people were shot. There's been 283 shootings this year in Baltimore, 19 more than at this time last year. Baltimore police are also investigating 138 homicides in 2022, two more than at this time in 2021. A new law regarding ghost guns goes into effect tomorrow. A personal identification number will be required for all unserialized firearms and unfinished frames and receivers, commonly called ghost guns. The deadline to get a gun marked with this number is March 1st, 2023, and can be gotten anywhere with a federal firearms license. Firearms marked like this will also be registered with the Maryland State Police and will be subject to a full background investigation. Tomorrow, the city will pay out $300,000 to a local rapper. Kevron Evans, AKA Young Moose, claims former GTTF officer Daniel Hersel planted drugs on him in 2012. In that case, Evans took a plea deal and received a suspended jail sentence and probation. His lawyers say after that, Herschel continued to harass Evans to try and get him to violate his probation. All charges against Evans were dismissed in 2020. The Board of Estimates will consider the settlement at its meeting at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Another scorcher on tap as we head through your Wednesday the morning, starting off hot already. Flirting with 80 degrees by the time you're good and tight at work here. Getting into the 90s for the afternoon, which is where we spend most of the day. Daytime highs climbed to 94 in Baltimore, 92 in Annapolis, 90 in Parkton to Westminster. And we are looking at numbers that are going to gradually cool down. We're watching a cold front that's going to bring a chance for scattered showers and storms on Thursday. Drier air by Friday as high pressure dominates the weekend forecast, staying near seasonal norms, watching another rain chance return by Tuesday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com. All day we'll bring you updates on top stories and breaking news. And if you're looking for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in the App Store.